This is going to be an introductory video of how to put a uh, Prius power steering or power assist on your hot rod. This is my hot rod. It's a 32 Studebaker Rockney sedan. This is the Prius steering box. I shouldn't call it a steering box because this box down here is the steering box. And this shaft here goes up to my steering wheel. So this is the power assist. Um, this one has been cut down, and what I mean by that is, if I take you over here to look at one of these, it is possible to remove this bracket, which when I removed that bracket, I actually moved it around here and used it to help stabilize this to the frame. You can remove these brackets. In fact, you can go inside of here and you can spread these little things out here and reach in here with a screwdriver and pop out a C-clamp and pull this whole shaft off. Once you get this shaft off, this shaft is a slider and it's grooved and it will slide in and out. I cut that shaft, well actually I cut, first thing I did was I cut this, although I have a friend that actually got this loose from that, but uh, I just went ahead and cut it. And then I slid that shaft off there's an inside shaft that this slides onto. I shortened that shaft, and I cut this shaft, and I put it back on. My plan was to make this take up as little space as I could, because if you look at my steering setup, I don't have a lot of space to work with. From here to there, I don't have a tape measure, but it might be, it might be a foot or so. So it might be a little over that. Uh, one thing I did find out, and I'm gonna put this out there to save you from doing it. When I took these bolts out, and this is the end that goes toward the steering box. That's the end that goes toward the steering wheel. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's a collapsible shaft. That's why it has that grooved shaft that slides over the other shaft. But when I took these bolts out and took this off and put them back in, these bolts will actually touch part of the mechanism inside of here and lock this thing up. And when I did that, I thought I had broken it in putting it in because I had to tap it into place with a hammer to get some of these shafts to go in some of the joints. So I took it all back out, took it, you know, got studying on it and realized that was my problem. So just make sure you don't do that. Uh, these bolts don't need to go any further in there than they are. If they do, they'll touch a big wheel that's supposed to turn in here, lock the whole thing up. Other than that, it's pretty easy. Um, I wound up with three wires. I ran one up to the uh, positive side on the back of my alternator, uh, which is this wire here. I've got it disconnected now because I'm working on the headers. I grounded the other wire literally back to the unit itself because it's grounded to the frame. I have a brace up here and I have a brace under here that attaches to the frame up in here. Uh, and then there's one more little wire that needs to be hot when the switch is on. And I ran that over to the choke wire, which is a hot when the switch is on. And that's right here. That way I didn't have to do a massive amount of welding. I suppose if I had been more highly technical, I would have put fuses in this and that, but you know what, I didn't. I just hooked it all up and it works. So, speaking of it working, I'm gonna turn the switch on. And it takes a few seconds for this to actualize. I just realized I don't have a battery in here. I mean, I disconnected the battery. Never mind, I'll come back and show you that later. Anyway, that's the short version. If you want to see the long version, I'm about to put up about nine videos, probably one a day for the next week and a half. And you can watch those and you can see in detail as I work my way through all of this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. By the way, the steering on this is freaking awesome. I got up to the store and I did a donut in the parking lot and it turned so easy. And used to be, you know, you'd have to go, ugh, 
And I know why you do a donut in the parking lot, but I did it and it was fun and I enjoyed it and I'm enjoying driving this. Look at me driving with one hand here. Look at this. Just look at that. Watch this. Watch this. Whee! 